This week's Wildlife Wednesday, we're going to be focusing on the common wombat. I know it's not an animal you find immediately in your backyard. Uh, it is if you live in country Victoria and uh, New South Wales. But I want to share a story with you about how I got involved in the rescue of a wombat joey. We were driving along in the country and we noticed an adult wombat had been hit by a car. We went over to investigate it and I noticed that there was a small joey about this big in and amongst its mum's pouch. Mum was unfortunately dead from the accident, so we knew the wombat wasn't going to survive, um, so we took it in. And before we could get it to a wildlife shelter, an appropriate place where you do take injured animals, we, uh, we kept him for a couple of days and uh, looked after him. We called him Wally Joe, and let me tell you that looking after a baby wombat is not as easy as you may think. Uh, they are of course nocturnal, so he was up most of the night and every couple of hours we'd have to feed him. We bought him some marsupial milk, which is a product we could buy in the in the town. It's like basically like a, a milk formula for small mammals, marsupials. Um, and we fed him, warmed it up and fed him much like you would a baby. Uh, it was a really cool experience to have him around, don't get me wrong, but it certainly isn't a lot of hard work. So when we found the appropriate wildlife shelter, uh, unfortunately I can't promote them, I can't even talk about their name for bureaucracy reasons. Um, before, when we found them, um, they took him in and they raised him to become a very healthy, uh, healthy boy to, and they released him back into the wild. But unfortunately, he is two years on, he's returned to the wildlife shelter because he was injured in a battle with another male. Males are territorial, they need about 40 hectares of space and where Wally Joe was put overlapped too much the territory of another male and, and they had a huge fight and Wally was injured quite substantially so he was back in the wildlife shelter. But fortunately they've again taken amazing care of him and he's healthy again. Uh, and ready for a uh, for a release again into a home where that's appropriate when they can find him one. Uh, these wildlife shelter people do amazing work. Uh, if you ever come across any uh, injured animals, certainly feel free to DM me or um, certainly find the appropriate wildlife shelter. Just to note that if you're ever driving along and you notice a big uh, kangaroo or wallaby or a wombat on the side of the road with a big cross on it, uh, we spray painted cross across its uh, body that's not anyone disrespecting the animal it's uh it's wildlife care is telling each other that they've checked the pouch of that particular mammal that to marsupial it's on the side of the road they do incredibly good work and um, certainly need all the support they can get from us you know thanks for listening to my story about how i was involved in the survival of wally joe